I intend for the police department to to supervise and operate the real time crime center. That's where I think it belongs, I, and I, that's a commitment I made during the campaign. Well, new tonight at 10, Shreveport Mayor-elect Tom Arsenault says he's all for SPD taking over the real-time crime center. Since its inception, the city has run the crime-fighting initiative using video cameras in the city. Well, tonight we're taking a closer look at how it impacts residents and why the mayor-elect felt it was necessary to be moved. You know, when it was first debuted over a year ago, Councilman Grayson Butcher told us he was shocked to find out that Mayor Adrian Perkins had elected to put it in government plaza and under the control, but now under the control rather of law enforcement. He's happy to see that. As KSL News 12's Jade Myers explains, it looks like he's getting his wish. Soon, the real-time crime center could be ran by SPD instead of the city. That's where I think it belongs, I, and I, that's a commitment I made during the campaign. Uh, District D. Councilman Grayson Butcher said it's the right thing to do. We just need the right people carrying that tool, and I think with it being at the police department or in the in the police department's control, I think you'll see a, it'd be a, a, a much more useful tool. Last month, I talked with the city's chief technology officer who oversees the center. He said officers are not needed to do the job. What I will disagree with is that we need gun-toting sworn officers in there. Now that the city will see a new administration, Butcher said the change in leadership with the real-time crime center is necessary. The real-time crime center is a sensitive, uh, it's a sensitive tool that the police department can have uh, for crimes and to help fight crime. And I think that uh, that that tool needs to be in the belt of the police chief. He needs to decide where the cameras are. He needs to have, uh, you know, officers, not police officers, but people in there that are that are a little bit more vetted. Arsenault's transition team said the change in RTCC leadership will happen after he takes office. Arsenault will be sworn in on New Year's Eve. Jade Myers, KSLA News 12.